Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. It's going, everybody. We're here to talk the big D episode two on USA Network, the divorcee dating show. And unlike um, our girl, uh, Ariel, everything we do stays on TV. I think it's starting to pick up steam a little bit there, Brian. The frustrations at the end of the episode that we saw with Ariel. This is the first time blatantly we saw someone. Now, again, only two weeks in. But Blair during that elimination, and Ariel wasn't eliminated, everyone. She's still in the game. But Blair point blank saying to her, like, you are going to get eliminated because you aren't over me and I'm so done with you. That's tough. Yeah. Tough, dude. It's tough. And I... I don't. I, I disagree with her reaction. The fact that he's been pretty damn clear, in my opinion, that he wants nothing to do with her, and he, she pushed him to the point where he had to be like, "All right, I'm gonna be mean. Like, stop talking." It's like what your kids on the playground, basically. He's like, "I don't like you." Yeah, it's tough because it's his ex-wife. Uh, first, your reaction to that, and then we can kind of maybe talk about later on if we think she's full of crap or not. Yeah, I, I I do think she's full of crap. But um, what you said about Blair, I, and it's not even just him having to push her, but like everybody else noticing it and saying it to him, he was like, "I need to make a move." And I thought he handled it pretty like I mean, kind of was he was he a jerk? I don't think he was a jerk. He had to be stern there, I think, to he get the stern, point across sure. that like this is this needs to end. I'm and, sensitive. Okay, I would that was a like, goof. I mean, I it, yeah, it was definitely it was definitely tough to watch, but I I thought it was. I thought it was good TV. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it was, it was great TV. Yeah. It was great TV because I was it was we kind of got like a bonus like minute and a half or so past the hour to get yeah. the post reaction, which I really appreciate. That even like five extra minutes, I think, really goes mm. a long way. Uh, I want to run through the episode, but I don't want to go too far with actually uh without talking about the elimination because I don't really think the elimination had much to do with the rest of the episode, really. There wasn't a lot of buildup, frankly. Uh yeah, I agree. To, the elimination. Um, Allie's name came up a little bit towards the end. Um, uh, according to Casey, she's talking to uh, a few people and she actually says, uh, Allie's not even in the Mims, which is our ex husband. And she's not yeah. really here. She's not into any guy. Now, I don't know if we saw her say that last week. She did. Week. She did say it. She said it like super in passing. Okay. This, I think, probably halfway through the episode tonight. Okay, cool. So I didn't catch the comment, but I'm assuming mm-hmm. that it had to have happened earlier. So that makes a lot more sense. Um, Casey, very involved in the gameplay the first two weeks. Make sure her ex was gone. Make sure her name, because frankly, she's just floating right now. Does seem like Dean has interest, and we're going to talk about mm-hmm. Dean because we like Dean. We're very yeah. pro Dean on this pod on the reality guys. Um, reaction to Allie's elimination. I think she seemed like a nice person, but I don't. I didn't really get to know her very much to have a big loss here. Yeah, I agree, and uh, it, I thought it was very like foreshadowing. She's like, "There's no way they're going to pick me," and then, of course, yeah, they picked her. Yeah, I mean, she just. Not that I'm saying she's not interesting, but there's just a lot of other personalities in the house that are taking up the screen time because it's 12 people. And I mean, if you're not in, she wasn't trying. So uh, the whole point, I mean, do we think the the point of the show is kind of crazy to me, but if you're not there to try to at least talk to your ex or anybody else, you got, I think you got to go give another slot for somebody else. Totally agree. Um, one thing we always found out that we weren't sure about is that right now they will be replacing people as they are eliminated, or at least this first week. I'm sure they're probably going to do it a few more times. I don't think they're going to have nice only five women next week. Um, it's probably going to be Dean's ex-wife, right? I mean, that's probably that's what I was thinking. It, it would be fun. It, you know what this reminds me of? It's like perfect match where it's yeah. like they have a bullpen and like maybe she, like Dean's ex-wife. It's got to be like Dean's ex-wife. Four. Or I, I would almost like it more if they brought in a new woman. And, yeah, then and then Dean's the, ex-wife isn't until the next rotation. He thinks yeah. he's just like dead in the clear. I agree. I actually like that a lot more too. I think the perfect match like that, um, like a comparison is exactly that. That's what I would do as a, as the producer. I think it's yeah. just, they, like you said, I like that. Like, Oh, I'm feeling safe. I can do what I want. And then she comes in blows up a spot or. Yeah. Something. Because maybe he won't tell the full story. Yeah. Now let's talk about Dean, Dean, the sixth man. Um, He says he loves all kinds of women, cute or ugly. Don't matter. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, doesn't want to talk about his ex Amber, which is the huge foreshadow that we will obviously see Amber show up. Uh, she wanted kids. He didn't that they got married and he wanted to keep traveling. They had a lifestyle that seemed like he was into. 
didn't seem like that's what she wanted. That's a probably like the G rated version of what really Definitely. happened. Right. And that's why we need Amber, but pro Dean, Dean, if you're watching, I uh, want to talk to you. Yeah. His, I love his energy. Like, I think that was like a nice spark for this episode because he, I want people to party on the, on the, in the house and like have like loosen up a little bit. I thought he came in and he did that. And that's as a viewer, I appreciate that. If your girl flirts with me, talk to her. <laughs> like, I love that. <laughs> It's like, honestly, it's fair. Um, <laughs> one of the girls asked if he was a pimp. <laughs> well, I think the core thought that too. He was. Yeah, Tupac the core thought that as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about my boy, uh, Tupac the core. My uh, nickname was stolen tonight. Let's well, all throw it out there. I guess technically this was filmed months ago, but I am glad that I picked up on it before it was thrown out on the TV. Mm -hmm. Guy's a hoverer, man. He's a problem. I, I think they got I think they gotta get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah. And shout out to Didi for commenting on our last video and and like telling us to keep watching. And I, I think I agree with you. Like he she I wanna see more of her. I feel like she's very restricted and I think it's same with Blair too. We need to see these people that finally have like that all that weight off their back, they can be themselves. I feel for the guy. I understand what it's like to be in pain, to lose a relationship. It's we've all been there, but it's the intensity that is showing. It's showing the preview next week that he, she's going to tell, be honest with him about what's going on with her connections. And he's going to go like threaten to beat somebody up. Right. Like it's just like the toxic energy that we don't need there. He needs to be really be like talking to someone. Um, but I do think he needs to be able to leave the aisle and to recognize that he is hurt still and that he does need to kind of maybe get help to move on with some of the anger and all of that, because it does look like he's holding on to a lot of embarrassment and a lot of hurt here. Well, I don't really totally feel bad for him because of the amount of cheating that he was doing. I look, I, I get what you're saying. I think that I've said from the beginning, it's a D dead relationship, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not even commenting on it for like DD's sake. I think she's also, really of that right i think she's sad for him she's upset that's obviously one of those things where like they had tried it and she had to wear this for a long time but she does come off as somebody who is over it it's not going to accept somebody's behavior mm -hmm. and own that behavior and those reactions so like i don't i don't feel bad for him like we should all have a big support group for him but i do see someone who's hurt and someone who just can't just like like i've been watching a lot of uh, kitchen nightmares recently brian he reminds me of like any of the chef owners of any of these places. They know they blew it up and they're the exact reason why it's wrong, but mm -hmm. they're just so angry about it. They just can't just like admit the simple fact that like you're the problem. Right. Right. And yeah. That's what this guy I think needs to be able to leave the island, recognizing that like there were consequences to the actions. It doesn't make you a terrible person because you did some terrible things. And you can grow and separate from that. And I guess some people would argue that maybe during the date that he was on, what was it with? Um, uh, Jillian. Jillian, right? He was soft and nice there. But again, I think that was a, it's tough. Yeah, because I'm going, I keep going back to episode one where he was like, I'm going to say what I, people want to hear. So I can't really take a ton of the stuff yeah, he said seriously until, yeah. That's just my only issue with, him right now i just i don't know what to believe we did have the uh bad habits compatibility challenge i thought this was cool i like this one mm -hmm. it was straightforward no gimmicks no you didn't have to get dressed up there wasn't like just involving yeah, i agree body anything like it doesn't have to always be sexual and i thought this one was a good one because it showed hey just power rank like what your biggest mm -hmm. no-nos would be and then we're gonna match them up and whoever gets the most top two teams will get uh immunity think that makes a ton of sense yeah. um what was gonna say uh dean and dd Dee Dee were the worst blair and mm -hmm. ally with three devin and ariel with three casey and mims with two uh david and lex and jill and tupac the core with four made them six. Yep. Mm -hmm. was it seven or eight i didn't catch they did that they kind of like shot through like how many were there should have taken quickly. a picture yeah I'll try to find it online when I edit this, but no promises. Um, overall, I think, like you said, I think the end of the episode and the frustration that we got to see uh, with Ariel 
that's going to start to flood over. I think we're going to yes. now start to see it now that like there's going to be some serious connections and people claiming and dead telling people that they're moving on. I think that will lead to like what we're possibly seeing with her, where she's going to quickly go and try to latch on to someone as well. I think we're going to get a lot of that give and take over the next few weeks. That means conflict and that's going to be good for TV. Yeah. I think the first hookup is really what's going to be a volcanic eruption. Oh my God. I, can't wait. I think it's next week, man. I do too. There's a <laughs> lot of big reactions to you. So hopefully that means that someone um, did something wrong. Uh, thank you for watching this review. Uh, like and subscribe here and on TikTok. We are doing 60 second reviews of shows like Love and Hip Hop, Below Deck, and Love Island that we're not covering on the YouTube channel right now. Uh, also, check out the video before this will be in the Temptation Island season two uh episode two excuse mm -hmm. me uh review for this season we're really enjoying that as well look out uh next monday for two season premieres the bachelorette and claim to fame also check out alone brian's covering that with our buddy lou that's actually had some really awesome community interaction so really appreciate that um vanderpump rules of course we're going to continue we have a new video coming out this weekend more than likely or at the beginning of next week some cool news stories uh some tea coming out and some reasons why you're not seeing a lot of vanderpump rules news right now there seems to be some tea evolving that um but for all that check out the videos uh subscribe on instagram as well for myself and brian though until the next episode thank you peace